I didn't get out of any fights. Ryan, I didn't get out of any fights. Not once did I say I didn't want to fight Ryan Bader. I asked him to fight you because I just want an easy paycheck. I knew that I, I wanted to fight you. I asked to fight you multiple times, Bader. Bader, come on. I asked to fight you. They said, Daniel, what do you want? I said, I want the easiest fight in the division. I want Ryan Bader. I want the easiest fight in the division. I want Ryan Bader. Ariel Hawani post-fight at UFC 187 alongside Ryan Bader. Ryan, a, a very strange yeah. exchange there between yeah. you and Daniel Cormier at the press conference. It got very heated. What was that all about? I don't know. I was just standing there in the back, and then he kind of threw a little jabs. You know, we uh, you know, were supposed to fight in June, and we went on a little, little press tour. You know, and, and DC's a talker. That's all he does. He's talking the whole time, you know, talking shit, little jabs here and there. You know, so I just fed up with it. We were supposed to fight two times, and then, you know, he gets pulled up. More power to him. Congrats. He won, he won the belt. But let's make it a, a third fight. Let's do it. And then called me out at the press conference, you know, sitting there. So I'm not going to just take that shit. You know, if we want to fight, let's do it. We've been sch scheduled twice. Right. Let's make it happen. I don't know. So he had the mic. I couldn't really hear what you were saying because you didn't have the mic. What were you saying to him? Oh, he was, he was saying there's a guy right now that's been talking. I said, I'm right here. And then he started going off. And then, I don't know, it got a little heated. Probably shouldn't have walked up there, but do you, do you like those things? Because we don't usually see no, you in I, those. I, that, that's the thing. Like you've never seen me, yeah. you know, talk smack or whatnot, whatnot. But I'm sick of hearing him talk. You know, it, it's not just stuff on Twitter. It's it's stuff behind the scenes and all that. And uh, you know, he's saying I'm not deserving. He's throwing shots in the media that I haven't beaten anybody in the top. You're in the 205 pound division. Which who the hell has he beat? You know, yeah, he just won the belt. I'll give him that. But this was before the fight, so I don't know. I just fired up after hearing all that crap and. You know, it's been a couple months now. So we saw what you guys were saying to each other on Twitter before this fight. You dislike this man? I do. Yeah, very much. You know, I, I, I don't know. It's just a couple months of just like pent up kind of energy from him and everything. Like I said, when we were on that media tour and just, you know, every time we're in a room, he comes in on his phone talking and just doesn't shut up. And, and uh, you know, I think he's disrespectful. You know, look what he did. He came up here and said, hey, quiet down. The champ is talking. You know, that, I don't know. That shit's just garbage. So have they told you that you will get a title shot no, next? No, not at all. But I, this has helped your cause. Listen, I don't, I don't care about the title. I just want to beat his ass. That's it. That means more to you than the title at right this point. Right now, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, obviously, if it's for the title, great. But I just want, I want Cormier right now. That's it. And were you impressed with what he did tonight? I mean, not really. You know, he went out there and, uh, yeah, he stayed away from, you know, obviously the striking of Johnson. But um, I got to give it to him. He went out there and... and Implement his game plan, won the belt. That's awesome. Congrats. But I didn't see anything in there that, that you know, that I haven't seen before. Right. And uh, I can definitely beat that dude. Thank you, Ryan. Good luck getting the fight. Thank you. Appreciate it.